Hey, good afternoon, Paul. It's Larry. It's Friday, June 25th. I'm taking pictures of the green or the Birdie uh, CDI 320 that we spoke about last night. By the way, thank you for the phone call. Enjoyed your comments. It's a pleasure speaking with you. Uh, very hot out here today. Must be in the 90s. Um, Paul, again, this car is very, very clean. It's actually cleaner than the black one. It's 17,000 miles on it, barely used. Tires, as I said yesterday, brand new Michelin tires, four brand new ones. Didn't need it, but that's the kind of cars we sell here. We want it to be as new as possible. I have all the documentation we spoke about yesterday. I can forward that to you via email. I'll do that in a little while. Um, this car is probably as new as you can get without buying a brand new one off the showroom floor. I'm going to walk around here, try to get as much close up as I can. I think the reason it was on a lot so long is because originally we were asking $59.9 for it. And we were firm on that price. I hope you can read this. Let me back up a little bit again. I want to walk around to the back. Yeah. Car is parked kind of close. Anyway, this car is about as new as new can be. It even has a trailer hitch. Nobody's going to use it or not, but it has one just in case you wanted to. Uh, later down the road, five years, whatever, if you wanted to resell it, I'm sure it would add to the value. I'm going to take a look at the inside here now. Um, this is the same color as the. Uh, the black one you were looking at with 36,000 miles. I'm going to crawl inside here. It's got navigation naturally. Uh, there's the speedometer, 17,000 miles. I can read that without too much glare. Picture of the back, it's got the dual sunroofs. Again, very, very clean. Even smells new in here. Let me go around to the back with your shot of the back. I love the way these clothes are solid. Whoops, locked. Got to open it from the inside. There we go. It's got that power lift gate, very convenient. One thing I love about this is it's high enough. You know, I'm five foot 11 and I can stand here and there's plenty of room between me and my head. You can see that. And this is the inside. I love the way these seats fold down. Got to hold the button, by the way, when you press these. Why that is, I don't know. This is also pre-wired if you want to put rear, rear entertainment at a later date. Doesn't look like they've ever used the back of this for anything. Let me um, show you under the hood. I'm just going to leave the camera on while I'm walking around here. I, don't, I hope you don't mind. There's the hood latch. Love the sound of those solid, solid doors. Clean as a whistle. It's amazing. You see the seal that goes all the way around here, Paul? What that does is that, that separates the engine from the rest of the... In other words, this, this area right here is where the air comes in. So that's actually sealed off in the engine part. There's also what they call... A, there's a paneling underneath so that the airflow is more smoother and quieter on the road. It also keeps the dirt out of the engine part. Anyway, that's all for now. I'm going to send this off to you. And uh, I'll send you the other stuff we spoke about, and hopefully I'll speak with you later. Thanks, Paul.